Get ready because today I am sharing my favorite designer bags for men for fall 2023. So a lot of my viewers reacted really well to my should men carry bags, can men carry bags video. If you haven't watched it yet, link will be down in the description. So I thought I'd kind of build off of that talking point and share with you some of my favorite designer bags for men 2023. A lot of good bags are coming out this fall. Disclaimer though, if you're new to my channel and you're expecting a lot of like chunky leather bags, utilitarian bags, a lot of me pacing around doing this and telling you how to be alpha, You've clicked on the wrong video, I'm so sorry. But what you will get, what I do promise to deliver, are nine amazing bags from the most current design houses priced anywhere from $200 up to almost 7,000. So there's a little bit of something for everyone here. Before we dive in though, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when, every Wednesday, Friday, and so <laughs> Saturday. We are switching Sunday to Saturday, so take note, there's gonna be a little bit of a schedule change. So Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays. And if you're interested in, in watching more, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Sound off in the comments. Let me know, like, did any of these bags speak to you? Do you already have any of these bags? Let us know in the comments. Last but not least, consider joining the membership. We have a really fun, engaged community over on the Discord, member meetups, extra access perks, you name it. So check it out. So some of the bags that I've picked out are from your very standard run-of-the-mill design houses, but I wanted to kind of include a couple that maybe you haven't considered. So to start off the list, we're heading over to Jacques Mousse. Now with Jacques Mousse, the one that I've picked out, this is the Lou Bambino in the nylon material. Now listen guys, the Lou Bambino, it's a fabulous bag. It is a house staple for the house of Jacques Mousse. But what I love about this one is the material. So it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more rugged, a little bit more masculine. And what I love about nylon is you can carry it in all weather. It's generally pretty weather resistant, not weatherproof. There's a difference there. Like you don't want to get it soaking wet, but it's going to be a little bit more forgiving than say like a really delicate like lambskin or calfskin or baquetta even. So that makes this bag really clutch in all situations. Also, what I love about this one is the versatility. We love a verse queen around here. <laughs> anyway, what I like so much about it, you can have the top handle if you want. So guys, if you're looking to venture out, doing a little bit more top handles, this is gonna be a good bag to kind of dip your toe into that pool, if you will. And I also love that it has that nice thick guitar strap crossbody. Full disclosure, I'm a little bit over the guitar strap era of fashion. But for this bag, it just makes sense. So you cannot fault Jacques Mousse for that decision. So next up, we're switching things up a little bit with something a little bit more architectural. And again, this is gonna be that perfect bag to kind of dip your foot into that top handle moment, if you will. But this is the JW Anderson corner bag in the leather. And I've chosen the black colorway because I think in the black, that beautiful, thick, chunky JW Anderson hardware really pops. And listen guys, this bag can go crossbody, it can go on the shoulder, it can go top handle. It could be a clutch even if you wanted. Like this bag is truly versatile. And what I love about JW Anderson is he has like such a fresh approach to fashion. Um, you know, we've all seen the shoes, right? We've seen the shoes, we've seen the bumper bag, but this corner bag, it is so good, you guys. Like even I'm kind of considering it for my collection. The best part, this is one of the least expensive bags on this list at only $1,250 which I know is a big ask, but considering like LV, Fendi, you're gonna be two, three, four, close to $7,000 for some bags. I think that $1,200 price point is really good. And for an emerging designer like JW Anderson, I think that's a really good place to be. I think it's gonna you know, introduce a lot of people to the brand, get them hooked, and then we can kind of start to elevate pricing from there. But this bag, 100% Caleb approved. Now next up, we're gonna visit the house of Ferragamo. And listen guys, I think Ferragamo with the recent shakeup at the house, this is gonna be a brand that we're gonna be hearing a lot more of, especially as brands like Gucci and you know some of the other big key players in fashion kind of like fall back a little bit. What I love about Ferragamo though is that they kind of have their own approach. And what I really like is that they still manage to keep some of the brand iconography on every single item they produce, which this bag is no exception. So the one that I've picked out for this list from Ferragamo, again, really well priced at only $17.90. Heard myself say that only, but still, compared to other design houses, it's really good still. This is the multi-pocket crossbody bag. And normally I don't go for like a stamped lizard. Like when, it, when I have an exotic bag, like I want it to truly be an exotic bag. Like I very rarely settle for like a stamped exotic or a printed exotic, it just doesn't do it for me, I'm being honest. But this time they've done it really well. What I like about this bag too is it's 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 a great little crossbody. This is gonna be perfect for afternoons out, weekends in the city, traveling even, because this bag, you guys, it has multiple pockets. Again, 
multi pocket cross body bag who knew but what i really like about it you've got that back pocket that sits close to the body so when you're traveling abroad you're gonna be able to have your passport in there your money in there because again pickpocketing it is kind of a concern when you're traveling abroad but i think this bag is going to do it pretty good also with the front you have the ganchini bit closure and then the little ganchini bits on either end of the dowel rod across the top of the bag and adjustable strap lengths like it does not get much better than this i I love Ferragamo. I only have a few SLGs and some shoes from that house, but this might be, well, the year's almost done, but 2024 might be the year I get my first Ferragamo bag. Again, we're staying with the kind of offbeat fashion houses here, and I'm going to throw it to Givenchy. Like Caleb Givenchy, that's so like mid, you know, like 2015. I hear you. I get it. In fact, I still love my Pandora from that era. So I've picked for you one of the reinvented Pandoras for the men's collection. Givenchy, when it comes to like weird alternative style, they, they really nail it every single time. And I think that a lot of the pieces that the house is putting out now isn't getting the respect it deserves, especially when it comes to the new redesigned Pandora. Now I have the older Pandora. It can be a bit of a pain to get in and out of, especially with how they have the zipper up at the top, up towards the handle. But with this new design, it actually goes over the center of the bag and down the sides, which is gonna give you that much more ease of access to all of your stuff. Now this Pandora, it's the small version, currently priced at only $16.90. And the one that I've chosen is in a beautiful material. This is the rough cut suede calfskin. I prefer carrying mine top handle, but having that shoulder strap is a nice addition to the bag. Now with the new design, it's a very adjustable strap. This can go either short shoulder, it can also go crossbody, and I love the way that the Pandora, it molds itself to your body. It's a very casual yet very chic bag and I think the way that they've employed the rough cut suede it's really going to kind of like mask it up like make it more you know mask for mask whatever you need it to be but still look really good especially for fall imagine this with like a leather moto jacket golden now listen guys I was ready to be done with Louis Vuitton I was ready to be like you know what it's done we've had our day it hasn't been the same since Marc Jacobs they've sucked me back in recently with some really gorgeous bags so make sure to come back this Friday I have a shopping vlog coming out lots of good Louis Vuitton eye candy we had some champagne I almost bought something but didn't well to be truthful I didn't almost but I was really tempted so the bag that I've picked today is the soft polish on PM and it's done in the monogram eclipse which we've seen for a while do not get me wrong like like the monogram eclipse it's been a mainstay for several years at this point but I think in this new silhouette it's looking really fresh it's looking fun it's looking hip and they've paired it up with that beautiful blackout hardware which just takes it to that next step what I love about the soft polish on again this is the perfect bag fellas if you're looking to you know kind of you know eschew away or get away from the crossbody strap and head towards more of like a top handle carry or even like a clutch style I know I know baby steps for some but trust me this is a good bag to do it with again you've got the adjustable strap which is removable you've got the little top handle which again is removable again this is going to be another one of those like soft casual bags that's just going to like mold itself to your body perfect for day perfect for night you know it's a really good bag guys and currently it's priced at $28.50 which for current Louis Vuitton prices is not that bad I hate saying that but it's not all right so this next bag it's technically not in the men's section but I think it works it's very unisex and I've tried this on I have fallen in love and I am obsessed <laughs> so just like Ferragamo I think we're going to be seeing a lot of Burberry here moving forward Daniel Lee is already proving himself we're getting back to that like original Christopher Bailey goodness that we have been missing for so many years the house you know went through some things recently but with Daniel Lee at the helm I think we're going to be getting back to beautiful luxe materials good design architectural elements and he didn't disappoint with Bottega. He's going to do it again here with Burberry. I promise you that. But the bag that I have personally fallen in love with and will one day hopefully be on this shelf of other beautiful bags is the medium night bag in the color Vine with the gold hardware. It is perfection, you guys. I cannot say enough good things about this bag. And I really love that the design houses are starting to push kind of like more hobo styles for men. We're seeing it on women. We're seeing it on men. And, and in my opinion, I think that that shoulder strap bag, it's just perfect. You can throw all your stuff in there. Again, it's soft. It's casual. It's modern it's gonna to mold to the body and this one has a few different things to it which really makes it stand out so it gets its name for the night bag for several reasons first of all Burberry the night hello hand in hand but this one they put the night piece from chess in the hardware yes you heard that right so with this bag the knight's head is literally the clasp to hold the strap to whichever length you prefer to have it at and I fell in love with this bag. It's $34.90, so it's a big ask, but trust me guys, the materials, the uniqueness, you're not gonna see this everywhere out and about in the city or wherever you are. And what I really liked about it, not only was the outside like a beautiful, thick, rich leather, the interior was lined in suede, 
beautiful, chunky, thick gold hardware. Like I said, keep your eyes peeled. Burberry, it's back on the map. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of it here soon and hopefully up on the shelf. That's all I have to say. <laughs> All right, so it wouldn't be a best of list on the Caleb Snell channel without a Fendi Peekaboo. Listen, safe space. I've had several in my day. I still have two in my collection. And what I love about the Peekaboo, it is like the perfect carry-all. Like it's good for work, it's good for the weekend, it's good for outings, traveling, you name it. Because what I love about it is its organization. So the Fendi Peekaboo, especially the one that I'm showing you here, the ICU Medium, currently priced at $6,300. What I love about it so much is its versatility, its, its organization. You have two main compartments. On the men's version, the front compartment is held closed with that classic Fendi Peekaboo turn lock. The back half is zippered, so perfect for your MacBook, your tablet, like whatever you need for work, files, you name it. Like whatever you want to put back there, do you, save space, I don't care what you do with the bag. And in the front, what I love about the men's versions, uh, especially the modern Peekaboos, is that front pocket is removable, you can flip it, you can buy different pockets to totally change up the mood. Fendi approached this bag, I think, with a really neat material. They did a buffed out leather, which makes it look rugged, but also kind of like dressed up metallic at the same time. So it's really uh, just, it's a true beautiful bag. And like I said, I've had several peekaboo, so I cannot recommend a large peekaboo enough. So we're at 6,300. Like I said, this price list was gonna go anywhere from $200 up to almost 7,000. So let's switch gears a little bit. I've got two really good contemporary bags picked for you guys. We're gonna end with the best price. So stay tuned, stick around. I know this is a lot, but next up I have Dooney and Burke on the list. A Duty and Burke best for men's list. Not unheard of, but this bag, you guys, is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Duty and Burke Alto Talia backpack. What I love so much about the Alto collection from Duty and Burke is the material, the Italian craftsmanship. It's all vegetable dyed vaquetta leather. Truly rich, beautiful, stunning leather. The more you use this Alto leather, the more aged it's gonna look, the more of a story it's gonna tell. And this backpack is no exception. Just imagine this, you know, five, six, seven years from now, it's gonna have all those scratches, worn corners. It is gonna be a vibe 100%. Now this does come with the little Dooney and Burke medallion. The older I get, the less I like the little medallions on bags. It's, I'm just gonna say it's a safe space. It's giving Michael Kors 2008 energy. I said what I said. However, <laughs> you can remove it. So if you wanna remove it, great. If you wanna leave it on, great. Do you, it's your bag. But priced at only $575 for full rich Italian leather, you can't go wrong. I promise you that. All right, guys, this next one, it is oh so good. So I actually saw this at the boutique. Again, check my vlog on Friday. We did a ton of luxury shopping last weekend. Super fabulous. But this bag, you guys, was so good. I saw it up on the wall at Coach. And normally, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say, and again, it's a 100% safe space. The Coach men's collection doesn't normally call me. Like, I, I'm more like, you know, like Sammy, Soft Tabby, those kind of bags. But like, for some reason, this bag caught my eye. Phenomenal, and the price is gonna blow you away. I'm gonna save the price for last. But this bag is the Beck Slim Crossbody, and I love this in the black with the blackout hardware. Now, my favorite part about this bag is its size. This is gonna be able to fit in your luggage. It's perfect for the weekend. Throw in a tracksuit, throw this across your body, head down to Starby Saturday morning. You are golden, looking fresh, good for vacations, great for travel, the perfect size. But what I really found interesting about it, so we've seen that beautiful like buckle, the C buckle on the Sammy, we've seen it on the Idol bag now, soft tabbies, the tabby, the pillow tabby, whatever you wanna look at. This one though, it's a little bit more updated, a little bit more masculine. It's giving you know that mask for mask energy that you might be looking for. But it's kind of like the, the little toggles on like a life preserver, which kind of gives it that utilitarian edge, which paired with like the beautiful pebbled leather, the crossbody aspect, it is a gorgeous bag. Best part, the best part. You know, we've looked at some very expensive bags today, but this one, this one's priced at only 295 USD. Mic drop. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this list. We're trying something new out with the background, as you can tell, for my OG folks. You know, first we went from the kitchen, well, no, oh, 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 OG people. We went from the dining room to the kitchen in the new apartment. Then we came in here. We tried something with like the rack of clothing, the, the little showcase of bags, but I've gotten these lac shelves from Ikea, and this is gonna give me the opportunity to switch up the background every single time. So what do you think? We've got a little Suhali, a Birkin, some Atelier Auguste, Prada. It's all here. If you guys like it, let me know in the comments. I'm super excited and things are gonna keep changing. Eventually we might add more shelving. We're definitely gonna be painting this back wall. I'm thinking like Hermes Gold would look really good with these shelves. What do you guys think? Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you love this list. Like I said, sound off down below. 
Are you gonna buy any of these? Do you have any of these already? And trust me, links will also be in the description. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.